Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk to you guys about what I rarely spend money on anymore. Let's get started and talk about it. I see many fabulous videos out there about what I no longer buy to save money. I think those videos are great and you see some variety in there, but I decided not to do that because you know what? I don't ever like to say I no longer buy things because sometimes I do. And I want to make sure I'm being very authentic and honest with you. So some of these things I still do buy and purchase, but not very often. And I'll tell you the reason why. Let me get started with number one. The first one I know I've mentioned it before is restaurant eating. One of my friends recently said, hey, we are going to order food for my husband from this restaurant. And she was going to order some quesadillas and just the quesadillas. And you know how easy those things are to make with tortilla and the filling were $12. That did not even include any sides. The reason why I don't spend a lot of money on going out to eat is I don't feel I get really good value. And when I know how much I can make the item for at home, it's like eight times as much to spend the money out. So very rarely do I eat out at restaurants. Number two, online shopping. I used to do a lot of online shopping. I don't do as much anymore because... I, because normally you goes on a credit card, and yes, I paid the credit card in full, but sometimes I'd be like, wait, why is there $400 on my credit card? I would forget that I charged it, and I'm like, oh, I was going to put that $400 in savings, and because it adds up so quickly. Now, I do still do some online ordering, but not near as much. Number three, people selling things. If I need it, I'd be happy to buy it if it's something I need, but guess what? A lot of times, it's so many things I can do without. For example, there, one of the magazines I read recently, somebody was selling some different event inventions. And I thought, you know what, is that something that's going to really add value? A lot of times when I've ordered things like this, I might use it once or twice. I ne may never get around to trying to dicker with it and read the instructions on how to use it. And it's just something that takes up space. Unless it's something I really feel will bring value to my life, I generally do not order things from others, including you know network marketing type products. Number four, kitchen gadgets. I just simply don't have the room and I'm making do with what I have. There's been times where to make a certain recipe, I bought a kitchen gadget you might need and I may have used it once just for that recipe. Now, I just kind of work around it and a lot of times there's more than one kitchen gadget you can use to make something. So I just work around that situation or I pick a different recipe. Number five, drinks out. Well, first of all, I don't drink alcohol that often, but I'm not talking those types of drinks. I'm talking, you know, but even though I love carbonated drinks, I really do. But, you know, sodas, going through the drive through Starbucks drinks, occasionally I have some, and there's nothing wrong with that sometimes. But if I were to do that all the time, it can really add up. Number six, and one of these I would like to start spending more money on, entertainment. I did recently go to the movie, but I don't spend a lot on other types of entertainment. Um, I do enjoy it, but many times things are more than what I want to spend on it. For example, there was a play I kind of wanted to go see, but it was close to $40. I just didn't want to spend $40 on it. And also travel. I do enjoy traveling. Scheduling mystery shopping, it's challenging to travel because I'm an independent contractor. I'm still responsible for getting those assignments done in a correct manner to the client and so I have to take my work with me I would like to start traveling now however but I don't spend much money if anything on that number seven I already mentioned this any kind of auto ship or subscription box number eight and this one actually saves me more money than all of them discount garage sale thrift store clearance shopping rarely do I do it because I already did a video on this several times Honestly, the price is way more than what it I think what I think it should be for being a discount thrift store item, and I don't feel I'm getting that much value, and it's not something I need that bad, and I would just be buying it just because it's on clearance or sale or at a garage sale. So I don't spend much on that at all anymore. Number nine, last but not least, books and music, any of that, uh, DVDs. I just don't need more of that in my home. Books I take out of the library. I don't buy music CDs anymore. And I don't really buy movies anymore because I go to Netflix or I can watch them on YouTube and things like that. So these are just some of the items that I don't spend a lot of money on. I want to hear from you in the comments below. Please share with me some items you don't spend much money on. 
Maybe some of these are the same for you. We all have different things, but guess what? That's why we call it personal finance. By the way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you're new here, welcome. And also, if any of you aren't subscribed, I sure would love to have you be part of our frugal family. Please consider subscribing. And as always, I love you, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.